This is what I do. I train people how to act using proper British acting techniques. I'm going to take a hands-on look at the actor training styles of the two most major superpowers in the English-speaking world. There has been a competition between England and America since the 19th century, which is to say, in American history, always. I will examine how the history of both countries' actor training, or actor reigning, if you will, both countries' styles of actor training have formed the state of the rivalry today. I will look at why British actors are taking so many plum roles in modern Hollywood blockbusters. I will investigate the ways in which the American model of actor training has failed to give American actors the versatility of their British counterparts. Here at the Dolby Theatre in Los Angeles, the Americans hold the Academy Awards every year to celebrate the actors and films that move us in a way that little else can. Except for of course, the philosophies of Marx. However, interestingly, over the last 10 years, 32 actors of British origin have been nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actor. And in more, even more astounding, five have won. Exactly 50% of the Best Actor winners of the last 10 years have been British. In this documentary, we shall explore why that is. I was born in Concord, California. I mean, I wasn't. I definitely didn't stall in Toy Story. Or Forrest Gump. Uh, what was the question again? What was your actor training? Uh, method. Method was a big technique back in uh, CSU Sacramento. It took up most of our time. We had a saying back there. Uh, methanol. More like a method. <laughs> You had to be there. Uh, but yeah, we really had to feel the connection to the character, the emotional depth of the character, and express that. What are your thoughts on British actors and how they are trained? Well, at the beginning of my career, I didn't really notice them, to be honest. I, <laughs> I mean, I was more focused on getting paid. But when I started landing bigger roles, I noticed how much more frequently they were chosen over American actors, and it wasn't until I started directing myself until I saw the reason why. They're just so much easier to be directed over Americans with their, because of their technical training. It's the movement work of Michael St. Dennis, the voice work of Ira Swallin. It's the electrifying power of the legitimate stage actor. The classically trained actor is at the center of our romantic imagination. The idea gives us the satisfaction that skill and precision can win out over the good looks and money that have been the false idols of Hollywood for many a year before. But in America, it's not that easy to get to this kind of training, while in Britain, this is the majority of training that occurs. So why is that? At the turn of the century, acting, as a rule of style, was frozen and chosen. Although the theatrical world had largely moved past the intensely horrified styles of early 19th century melodrama, acting was to be done in a grand manner, in a bombast and rhetoric. Anyone watching an actor act in such a style nowadays would think they were making a mockery of themselves. Their challenges to the style before the 1920s were killed. In the 1920s, two separate groups made it their mission to break all those conventions of acting apart. They spent years examining the acting process from all angles, experimenting character work through all sorts of different ways that had never been considered before. Constantine Stanislavski. And the Moscow Art Theatre composed one group in Russia, and in France, Jacques Coupeau, and the Le, Le, Le Théâtre de Vieux Colombier made up the other. Both came 
similar conclusions about hackney they both sought to eliminate the insincerity of acting to that point to eliminate the incrustations that many actors had developed almost simultaneously these two groups descended on the major hubs of english-speaking theater stanislavski came here to new york and coupeau came here to london Stanislavski's system would be taken by Lee Strasberg to become the basis of the American method, just as Coupeau's system would go through his student, Michel Saint-Denis, and form the basis for British actor training for the rest of the 20th century. So what are the two countries' styles? We've already mentioned the method style, and at first there seems to be little to distinguish it from the British styles. Coupeau taught reliance on instincts just like the method, but this reliance on instincts did not bring him to reject the elocution, movement, and phonetics training that would eventually evolve into the integrated British style of training the actor as a cohesive instrument. As British actor training developed in the latter half of the 20th century, or as I call it, the 20th century, it was to incorporate the emotional content of the method into their highly developed external training giving British actors the tools to create characters and operate with power on stage without solely relying on their own psychologies in the way many method actors do. Americans have yet to do the reverse. To explore the implications of the two countries' styles and the actual work of the craft, I brought two students from the two countries to work with me in a simple duologue. Uh, good morning, gentlemen. Uh, this is the scene you'll be doing today. Uh, you and you'll be Cassius. Uh, yeah, partner. It's an aspirate in the original Latin dialogue. Right. Um, so I thought we'd just read it through one time, and uh, if I think of anything, I'll just make it. Pleasure. Uh, whenever you're ready. Pleasure. That you have wronged me doth appear as it. You have condemned and noted Lucius Keller for taking bribes to your sergeant. Where in my ledgers, praying on his side, because I knew the man. Ah, ye wrong, ye silt or rat in such a case. <laughs> okay, okay. So, um, you'll notice, you'll notice Ewan has classed up his feet. Well, that Brutus and Cassius have a class on it. I wonder, yeah, I wonder if you might know uh, RP, do you? Uh, yeah, rest mind. in peace? Yeah, I call my grandmother. We, we, we can work on that now. Um, so, so you're doing a lot of ash sounds right now in your, in your speech. I wonder if you Pokemon? might bring those more towards... Oh, Gotta catch them all. Am, am I being too technical? I'm sorry, I, I, don't, I don't mean to be technical. Um, did you have any dialect training uh, when you went to law school? Uh, dialect. Uh, you mean when we were like in a circle and we were all crying? Oh, we did that like every day. Uh, never mind. Uh, Regents and Cassius can just be uh, working class Americans. Would that be alright? In such a time as this, it is not me that every nice ascent should bear his comment. Let me tell you, Cassius, ye yourself are much condemned to have itching pounds to sail in mighty yourself office for guilt. Do you under service? Okay, hey. Yeah. Do you actually know what the lines mean? Of course. Okay, okay so, so what does you yourself are condemned to our condition for? Ah, oh, thank you. We, we learned this in like elementary school. Oh, really? Yeah. You yourself obviously means uh, me, myself, and I uh, are much condemned, right? Condemned. They go straight to hell. Like the Satan himself comes to worship you. Right. Right? Do you have an itch in palm and what you're... What Satan is doing is he is scratching your palm. It is itching. Oh, does it ick. Right. So, Hank, have you actually done any Shakespeare before? Oh, <laughs> yeah, we use guns nowadays. <laughs> Why would I shake a spear at someone? Right. Think of that. So there it is. British techniques have been shown to consistently produce higher quality results than their American parents. Should America continue to stubbornly cling to their old traditions, they will continue to lose the war on drugs and... What? 
as the acting one. Makes sense. I should say, the cultural battle for artistic supremacy. And perhaps, should America adopt this tenet of British culture, it will bring them one step closer to becoming one with the glorious common. But who doesn't want this? God save them.